Hello everyone, my name is Sheffrey and welcome back for episode 30 of the Satisfactory series here on YouTube. In this video we begin our very first Mega Size Factory. All for one building will cover our basic crafting items to carry us through the rest of the game, and even a few extras like AI limiters. I'll be splitting this across multiple episodes, and hopefully it's easy to follow along if necessary. Thank you for all the support and help with the series so far. Let's get to playing games. Oh my goodness, we're back. It's actually been a couple weeks now since I've been able to play the game. Almost forget what we're doing. So the original plan I think that I had was I was going to do my supercomputer build. But uh, I am a little bit pressed for time at the moment. Um, still got some, some family stuff going on. So I decided we, we are going to do our basics overhaul. It's going to take us uh, quite a few episodes. This is part one of who knows how many episodes. Probably four-ish episodes i'm thinking um today's gonna be a pretty basic one nice easy i'm gonna be doing some demolition setting up the miners on the foundations do the general layout of the factory set up our little truck station area and we'll separate off our little concrete room just to finish it off um so this whole factory is going to basically put out all of our basic stuff it's concrete iron rods iron plates screws reinforced iron plates we got copper sheets copper wire AI limiters even, just a little bonus thrown in there. Rotors, cables, quick wire, modular frames. Everything we're going to need going forward for, uh, did I say rotors? This makes right, yeah, rotors, rotors too. Um, so every crafting item that we're going to need going into the end game, this should be able to handle it. It's basically going to replace every little basic factory we've got going on down here. I'm going to tear it all down and put it into one big one be a test of really what my computer can handle um, going into the next phase because I don't really know how big a build that my computer can handle but we're gonna we're gonna do our best um, we're gonna head on down to uh, it's where the quick wire and the smart plating factory currently are is where we're gonna be building it today so I appreciate you guys coming back here once again let's get into some building one thing I just wanted to go over before we head over I did um, between the episode last episode and this one I did move uh, the gas or the fuel depot and I redid all the truck lines just so that uh, you know it's just a bit of time saving you guys didn't have to watch me drive the same truck routes again so we now have um, the fuel gets dropped off right here it's fed into um, the sorry it gets fed into this storage right here we go like this feeds into this storage here which goes and feeds into the downstairs, which goes across to this side, uh, which just kind of feeds underneath the ground. And this is the main fueling station where all the trucks will pass through as they drop their stuff off. And then the only one that stops here is the one that actually drops off the fuel. So it's a lot, ended up being a lot cleaner, a lot easier. And uh, now everything ends up coming here. We've got our motors, our computers, Heavy modular frames and our plastic. Looks like our plastic's full again already, so our plastic's just getting sunk. Um, looks like same thing with our computers is full as well. So that's been nice. That's the I haven't had any storage issues with here yet, and um, I can still. I think at this point we're unloading so many items into this one truck station. When I start to bring over all the other basic items and everything I'm gonna have to set up a couple more truck stations for drop-off because I think we hit the max on uh, I think we hit max on this one but anyway let's head on over down to uh, the factory area we will get started on a little bit of demolition and actually one last thing I want to take care of before we head on over to the factory area I actually kind of like this how this home area is starting to come together but uh, we ended up having one more super nice person actually our first $20 patreon member so I'm going to go ahead and give you the small billboard here on the wall. Um, once again, if you guys ever want to have a little sign in here with your name on it, like we got Bambi over here and Ashney here. Um, if you guys want to sign in here with your name on it, just head on over to patreon.com slash every plays games. Uh, link should be in the description. Um, or we're getting pretty close to uh, having YouTube memberships. Um, once those are open, if you want to sign up for those, you can get a sign in here as well. But since you signed up for the $20 one, I'll give you a little bit of a special one. All right, there we go. Thank you very much, Ray Trace, for, for joining in on that Patreon. Got a nice little sign up here for you. Discord name and your YouTube name on here. And there we go. Now we can head on over to... Uh, oh, I like the reflection. That's cool. 
Now we can head on over to uh, getting our build done. All right, here I am over at the quick wire and the smart plating factories. Um, I did um, a little while back just go ahead and place the. Oh, I need my need my solid bio to go back my jetpack. Um, I went ahead and, and I threw down just all the miners that I'm going to need on all the nodes over here. Uh, I'll give you guys just a quick explanation. But first thing we're going to take care of is we're going to go ahead and demolish this quick wire factory and the smart plane factory. We have more than enough smart plating to take us through to the end of the game now. I think the exact total is that you need is like 6,000 something. We have way more than that, so. And then the quick wire is just going to get rebuilt into this mega factory. Let's go ahead and do a quick little, I don't know, montage or something, or I'll just do like a in like a little explosion or something and um, we'll make it look cool and just everything will go everything will go bye bye left is all the mark two miners on all the nodes that we're going to need for everything and now we're just going to have to take a demolition off our to-do list the to-do list may have looked funny there for a minute because i forgot to change it now we're going to do miners up onto foundations before we do our general layout so that one's quick wire is already done that one's already done for us so we can do the copper here there we go. Nice, easy, I don't know, what is it? Three by three by six platform. Um, essentially, I think what I'll probably do since the main floor is going to kind of run over top of this. Oh, right. I forgot to do one thing. Um, hand off the, the clearing. Ready? There we go. Forgot about that kaboom I mentioned. Looks like I missed a couple of trees, so that's okay. We'll clean up the rest later. Um, anyway, so yeah, that is going to just kind of get pumped up and out of the way. I want to make sure this is, oh, we'll, f we'll fill the rest in later. Um, so that's the copper miners up on foundations. Quick wire is ready to go. Let's do these two. I kind of want to send all the iron roughly in the same direction. So I think these are going to get end up getting faced e off. Let's see. Let's face them this way. Let's face pretty much it. Let's face them all this way. There we go. Five by six platform. Both miners facing this direction. Now I'm going to want to boost all these up as well. And I'm going to turn them all facing the same direction as these ones. Let's go ahead and demo these. I'm going to fly probably just for most of this since I'm just kind of getting a good practice in for my first mega factory and if no one's following along. Hopefully it makes it a little bit easier. We're going to go vertical, drop that down. See where I can kind of snap these in. Just like that. It should be level enough for all of them. I fill the rest of this in. All the way back. Just like that. Bring those over. Yeah, it's fine. I have to, we'll have to do some cleaning up, but that's okay. Zoop this one out as well. Not 
quite as far. Only end up boosting that up a little bit. Okay, so we're going to grab our miners. Actually, I'm going to face this one in this direction because I'm going to end up raising this floor. I can already tell that right now. So this one can go that way, that way, that way. So I'm actually going to shave off this outside one. We don't need to go that far. Might change it a little later. We'll see. Moving on to these two miners over here. So this is going to be our total. So we got those two copper over there. We got the one quick or, or the one um, Caterium being mined up right there. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight impure iron nodes. That's why we have to use so many because they're all impure. And then one, two, three limestone nodes, two impure, one's normal. That'll give us a total of 600 per minute, giving us a total of 200 concrete per minute. All right, platform foundations for these. Two delicious nodes right here. Grab our Mark II miners, facing them both this way. And then I think that is a good layer to build that from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my blueprints just to make things go a little faster here. I've got a four by four, you know, but two, but our, yeah, four by four, two meter foundations. I'm going to get this to snap on just like that in default. And then I can switch it to blueprint mode and make this a lot faster. We're just going to kind of fill in this whole bottom section. This is why I'm going to fly because it's going to be a lot easier. I'm going to fill in this whole bottom section with this blueprint. So we got one, two, three, four, at least four, at least if, um, so that would be a creature in the way. Ooh. Oh, it's a little bird. Excuse me, sir. Would you mind, uh, relocating? I mean, literally the worst direction possible. If you fit under, that's fine. Okay, cool. So we got 16 long platform there. I got to raise this miner up onto some foundations. Let's go ahead and grab, let's do a little three by three for him. Put the miner back down. I'm going to send that this way. And then we'll see what I can fit beyond that. So we're just going to hit H to hold that into position. Mm. I'm going to put that in, but I'm going to, ch I'm going to shave off, shave off this like that much. And then I'll figure out how I'm going to connect this all together. And then I'm also going to add a little bit more onto this backside here. Let's grab our blueprint one more time. Fill that in like that. One, two, three. And there are four there. Yeah, something like that. That'll work. I will fill this in. I just don't know if I'll, I'll like drop it down or raise it up. I'll kind of figure out how I want to do that. So I'll do the same part. Same with this one right here. I'm just going to get it set up with some foundations for now. Get the miner on it facing that direction. And then we'll get those, we'll get those all squared up in a minute. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to go up. And then the other one is going to get brought over here, um, but I'll kind of figure that out once. I'll throw it up on foundations just for now, but I'll, I'll, I'll know more where I'm going to bring it in as I get the design of the factory down. 
Um, and it's totally fine to get rid of a bunch of this stuff because this is not going to be here for very much longer. So don't worry if it's kind of in the way for now. This whole thing will get demoed. No one's even getting gas from here anymore. Everyone gets gas at the, over at the main base. So that's going to bring the rest of the 150 limestone over that we're going to need for the concrete portion of this build. All right, that counts as all of our miners up onto foundations. So we can take that off our to-do list. So now we're going to go ahead and work on the general layout of the factory, which is going to be the biggest project of this entire episode. Um, where I need to lay out just a monster sized factory. Um, so I'll kind of start roughly coming off the road here and sort of on, I know it says general layout and then truck station area. I'm going to kind of lay out sort of the truck station area. Um, I mean, just, I'm going to start like with that platform area and then I'll build from there. The only thing I'm going to have to take into consideration, obviously, as per usual, is the moths. Um, flight path, but I believe, I believe along here, he doesn't actually fly. I think his route is about, he swings kind of over my steel factory, comes this way a little bit, comes down, like not down, down, but like comes down somewhere about here ish, flies over this part of the highway and then dips back the other way. So I'll, I'll keep my eye You can kind of see him there as I'm frozen. Um, he'll be, he'll be kind of coming around here in a few minutes and I'll, and I'll get a good idea. I'll build a little tower up just so I have some sort of idea where I'm going from. Um, so let me just grab a bunch of foundations and I'll just build them up vertically. Let's say to like, that was from, from that platform there. I just went up 20 and I'm just going to like, so he's going to come He's going to go through there, um, through that little gap there. He's going to do like a little loop back. He's going to come back this way. And then I'll know roughly how high up I can build. I think while I wait for him to actually do his little lap, loop back around, because he, he will be just a little bit, I'm going to put in the um, floor just above these so that I can just kind of start filling that in with my, with my blueprint. Um, so I want to know... Roughly how high I need to go up. I'll hit a two meter, two meter foundation. I know I need to go a little higher than these ones because I want to include going over these. So let's say, try from about there. See if I want to go down at all. Let's just see where this comes to. Uh, it's not bad. I feel like I could actually go down. I went down one. Like, how's that? Is that high enough over it? Is he coming around? Yeah, he's going to be here in a second. Let me add... Just so I know... I think it's like... Roughly, he flies around here. So, I'm going to put a little thing there, and I'll see roughly where he flies in comparison to that. Mm, that's a little tight. I think I'll leave it where it is. Okay, so I'm going to end up filling in from this level. I'm going to fill just a massive layer in with um, with my blueprints. I'm just going to watch him as he flies here. Okay, yeah, so you see how he's going down? I may, I may actually be up a little too high. I have to come down some. Maybe like there. Okay, I have to come down like one. Like there. But just, just so he's not like scraping my roof, I'll go to that one. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch him as he goes around again. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and fill in a whole bunch of this section with our blueprint. So grab our 4x4 2 meter concrete um, because we're going to need to be able to 
pass things through the floor. I'm not going to split this up into like the one by one. And I probably won't be down below all that much. So let's just go ahead and fill this in. carried away and it's a really big concrete platform i'll go over how big it is in just a second he's about to come around again for another another trip so we're going to see how close we are to his to our building and yeah as you can see he's well clear of the road on this side so we got plenty of room to go as high as we want on the other side so this side will be truck station other side will be all our all our buildings Yeah, I'm going to build from that one right there because his wings do clip through that top one there. So we'll say that can be as high as we build here. So that would be... From this platform here, we're talking 12 up. And that's how you that's how high you can build out this side. And that is plenty high for my truck station. So we're gonna bring that all the way across here. Quickly go over how big the platform is. Um, it is gonna extend more around that, that side as well. But uh, for now, at least, if I go to blueprint mode, this will be a lot easier to count. There's a 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. So 32 long, along the highway here. Your 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 along the back here. For now anyway I may I may um, shave off this this entire back or section but we'll see it goes in by one two three so that would be 12 out by 12 and yeah so this is where I'm gonna be extending it still so I think I'm gonna go we grab a concrete blueprint Got I added a little bit on the end there. Oh, above a Mercer Sphere. I may have to get rid of that so I don't hear that all the time while I'm doing this. So there we go. There's another one, two, three, four, five. So that'd be 20. 24. 28. 32. 36. 40. 44, 48, uh, and I think that should be long enough. Uh, let's go 52. Give it a little extra just in case. Probably more space than, than less is better for the better. Build uses around 100 constructors, 54 smelters, and 27 assemblers. So, I mean, space space is good. I think when I was planning, yeah, I think when I was planning it, you come up just basically snug where this part is right here. So, that makes sense. We're going to bring that back. So, that's one. That's 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Mm, probably don't need to go that wide. Probably go this wide. Let's take this one off. Let's call it 20. 
Okay, so yeah, there's that platform done. I believe I've given myself probably way more space than I'm than I'm gonna need. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of this thing. Doesn't really matter because I'm gonna be starting a new world upon 1.0 anyway. So, but anyway, we can just leave it here as like a decoration, and then it won't make noises all the time. But if you guys knew you could do this, just boop. Now it won't yell at me all the time. Okay, so now that I've got that that first kind of overall floor sort of layout planned, set in stone, um, I think from here I'm going to try and do a sort of general frame of the what the factory will be. And that way I'll know sort of where I'm going to put like my hallways and like where to put my floors and like all that sort of thing. So I'm going to start with uh, framing in some of this section right here by bringing oh, I wanted that to be vertical. Bring that up to be in line with this one right here. Sort of like that. And we'll do that all the way around. Okay, there we go. Now let's figure out our truck section, which will also involve bringing over our road really quick. Let's go like that. We the three. What does that line up? What does that line up with? Interesting. Um, so that'll be like that. This will be our normal road. And then it's obviously going to need to go up a little bit. So we're going to figure out, uh, I go one more and then I'll go up. Yeah. Uh, I'll go one more actually. I don't want it to be like a panic when they hit it. Okay. Like, yeah. Let's see if I can get this, uh, lined up better. Um, no, I guess the only way we, I'd have to shift it. So not, not a big deal. I mean, realistically, the easiest way to fix it is to go like this. We just put these in as normal. Then for these ones, you nudge them. Just like that. That won't be a big deal once we get this stuff changed over. So we're going to bring this uh, most of the way over. Let's figure out where our truck stations are going to go here. Now, obviously, this is going to be like a wall here. So we're going to go want to go in from the wall. Let's say, let's grab a truck station just to see what they are at here. Truck station. I don't know if this stuff can build it, but that's okay. Um, let's say we went in. Leave two behind it. And then the wall. Uh, let's go like three. Let's go three behind it. And then the wall. Be like one, two, three. And then this will be the, um, this will be the outer wall. Yeah. Maybe. Let's see. Let me go grab a bunch of stuff for truck stations and then we'll put them in and find out. Okay, just kind of had to make sure it worked, so it took a little bit of testing. So we have all 12 um, of the truck stations that I'm going to need. We're gonna need. We have 12 whole I or 12 in or 12 different items coming out of this factory. So each one is going to get its own little truck station. And then I split them apart by a truck station each and the auto save is going to take over. My general idea is that there's going to be the road coming down the middle. Um, as things pull in off the main road, they'll come in here, pull into whatever truck station they need to, um, back into the middle lane, and then it's going to loop back out and around that side. So I'm just going to mark out the road really quick, and then we'll carry on from there. Um, I did leave from the outside. I left this is going to be the outside wall, and then one, two, three from the in from the outside. And like I said, um, it's an exact 
truck station in between um, going all the way down. There we go. Roads are all marked out. Or, well, they're not marked, but they're, the asphalt is in. So trucks will come in here, come up this ramp, down here, pull in, pull into whatever they need to pick up. Go around the loop here, come back out, back down the ramp, and they'll head on over to the storage. And they'll do the same loop again. I think that should work out nicely. Um, so I think now I can go ahead and frame in what's going to be the truck station area. I think I'll come out to here. And then I'm going to leave myself the option to add in a little bit more detail in the front. So it looks like we can come up nine. And that's about as high as we're going to build. So I'm going to zoom that together. Let's bring this all the way down. There. The same thing here. Zoop it along. Last couple bits on there. Do I need all this room? Yeah, I do. We're going to need every little last bit of this room. You might think, hey, it's, it's going to be pretty big. You would be correct. The biggest build we've taken on thus far. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Bearing with me through it as I make this up as I go. Only a handful of struggles here and there. But we're doing it. 1.0 just around the corner. You guys can let me know down in the comments just how excited you are. Where are you thinking of starting your new... Are you going to start a new build? I hope you do. And if so, where are you going to do it? Are you thinking grassy fields? Rocky desert? The red sand place? I'm thinking forest. Northern forest has always been... I've never really tried it before. Always thought it was kind of cool. Might have to give it a go. Alright, 17 years later. I've got a general frame that I'm working with. Um, this ended up being a uh, nine high up off the platform. I just kind of did a little wrap around all the way around. And these ones were eight high once we hit the top of that. Um, this isn't exactly where my second floor necessarily is going to be. Um, this was just to kind of give myself a little frame reference. Um, in order to figure out where my floors are actually going to be, we're going to come on down here to where I think the entrance is to the actual factory is going to be. I think we'll put somewhere about right here. What's my like space in between the middle here? We got one. What do we got here? 11. So the middle three would be like these three, right? I'll leave four on either side. That's perfect because my hallway is a three wide blueprint. So in order to put this in properly, I actually do need to cut out the, uh, the floor. So I'm going to cut out these three wide strips. Actually, wait, I think I'm just going to do it. Yeah. Instead of the middle, I'm just going to do it straight down this way so that, uh, I'm not, um, or what's the word I'm looking for? So that I don't uh, inter I don't have to like change the direction of my hallway. I can just set it straight down the middle here, and then maybe do like a spiral staircase towards the back side there. So I think maybe what we'll do is I'll start it like. Actually, I might as well just run it right along here. Uh, let's figure out how I want to do this. Go like these three. That way it's almost in the middle, but not quite. Or should I leave it even? Uh, like two? Like that? Yeah, I'll do it from here. Okay. Yeah, that works. So I cut this out just like this. And then, oh, it's just a piece. And 
we're going to grab our hallway blueprint. Our hallway pieces. Hallway with door, and then I just adjust as I need to. I did have another piece that didn't have a door on it, and I think I, I, I think when I was changing my blueprints around, I accidentally deleted it by accident, so, you know, not the worst thing to happen, but definitely, uh, definitely was a mistake on my end. So let me just see if I can get this into its proper position. It looks like it is. Just like that. Oh, my game is broken again. Okay, I'm going to have to reload. Hang on. There we go. Okay, we're back. Okay, sorry, games. Games been running a little funny. So we're going to go to blueprints. We're going to grab our hallway with door. We're going to go default mode. Just to snap this into position. Make sure it is sitting in the right spot. I don't think it is. Here we go. So now the way my, that my hallways work. I mean if anyone is interested in the blueprints. Um, I can make them available for download. And the way you use them is you take your normal hallway piece. You take your hallway middle connector piece. You're going to using blooper mode. Hopefully get that as close there you can. And you got to go nudge one, two, three into position. And then when you put in your next hallway piece, like I said, normally I have a, uh, oh wait, what? This was supposed to be in blueprint mode. There we go. Um, yeah, normally I have, so one, two, three. A piece that doesn't have a door on it. I don't know what happened to it. Seems to have disappeared on me. But we'll, we'll get it figured out in the future. But it's pretty easy. Pretty simple fix. Just go like this. That was not what was supposed to happen. But you get the idea. So you're going to come in. You're going to do one, two, a third hallway piece. Uh, actually, no, not the door here either. Let's get rid of these doors. Let's do the door, like the entrance. So this, this floor will be probably like the smelting floor. So let's do the door coming out. Actually, I can maybe do like, do I have these on my hotbar? I don't, I probably should. So we're going to hook this one in. One, two, three. One, two, three. I think that's a good place for the door. So the other cool thing about this hallway system is you're free to like take out some of these walls, these concrete walls and put in like some glass. We'll, we'll do that more in the, um, in the actual like cosmetics episode. Uh, or cosmetic part of this, this, uh, build. But, uh, yeah, so I generally do like, I like the way you can just kind of run down the hallway here. It's nice and open, get a nice little view into the, into the factories that you want. And then anytime you want to go in, you just go through these sliding doors. Um, I don't like to stack like, I know a lot of people will stack them like too high. Um, just to make them a little bit higher for the vehicles. I like the way they just, they are just like this. So no vehicles coming through here anyway. All right, there we go. So we got hallway coming all the way down to the very back here. So this is probably, I think, where I'm going to do the stairs. So it'll go all the way up to the very top floor once we're done. And then you have the the door going into the... This will probably be, like I said, the smelter part of the factory. Need 54 smelters. Should be able to fit that in here, no problem. If I can't, well, I need to work on my um, uh, space spatial awareness. Um, so yeah, so I'll, I'll leave this kind of for now to where this will be the spiral staircase. Um, but the nice thing about this hallway blueprint that I like is, uh, I'll count it up. It's, it's a four, eight, 16, uh, that'd be 18. So it's 20 meters high technically. Um, but it's, it's like 18. So you have an 18 meter gap here on the first floor. Like I like to build my roof out from here. 
and that leaves me a nice 18 meter gap in between, especially so I can show you, um, smelters fit in here. Obviously no problem, plenty of space and with the construction and everything. So that is a lot of space, um, per, for a floor. So an easy way to build out from here, now that I've got a little game plan, um, is I'm going to grab my, uh, blueprints, four by four, two meter foundations plus subfloor. And then I'm going to attach it to the two meter foundation. That is the ceiling of my hallway. And that is going to be my first logistics floor. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill, um, this and Todd like this whole area in and just right here in with, uh, with this four by four foundation plus subfloor. All right. First subfloor slash second floor installed because that will be, so this will be smelting floor, logistics floor, constructor floor. And then, so I want to do the same thing that I did down here. So I'm going to kind of figure out where. I'm going to put just a little piece of hallway. So where do the stairs come up? The stairs are going to come up. Uh, oh, that's going to be, I think it's like this, right? Was this the game plan for stairs? Sure was. Okay. So that'll be stairs, which means the hallway piece I'm going to want is going to go right here. We'll just kind of stick those in just like we did down below. And that'll allow me to figure out where I want to put the next floor. Okay. Got my hallway pieces in up here with the door facing out into the, what will be the factory up here. So we do get the little bit extra room up top here for this is going to need to be well around a hundred constructors. That's going to be quite a bit. Um, so now we know where our floor is going to be. So I'm just going to chop this off really quick. Actually, wait, no, I'm going to line, I'm going to line the first floor up really quick first, and then we'll chop it off. All right. So we got our four by four, two meter foundations with a subfloor. Don't set it a blueprint, set it a default. You're just going to connect it to right there. Then we're going to go ahead and slice off all these two meter foundations the top of our roof here. Switching it back to our thing. Blueprint mode enabled. We're going to go ahead and fill in a bunch of these bad boys until we have our next floor. Did I double stack those? I did. That happens sometimes. Man, I can't imagine how hard this was to make builds like this before blueprints came along. This would take me just astronomically so much longer. Like I'm putting in two floors at once. And like, this is so much fast, even, even faster than zooping. Oops. Although sometimes I do stupid things like that or I double place them, but that's okay. Still faster. So this is our, oh, I gotta shave some of this off. Oops, a little shave happy there. This one comes out just a little further like that. You should be coming up. Now, so here's the thing, this top floor that you're looking at right here, this is the floor that the assemblers are actually going to be on. So we actually need to go even higher. So we're going to keep sending all our corners up here. This also needs to be stretched out a little more. And then we'll have a frame. There we go. I think that technically works for an overall layout. 
end up going, um, I'm putting the ceiling in here. These are six high, uh, they're four meter foundations and it is six of them high, which would be 24 meters off of this foundation here, which is more than enough room to cover up our assemblers and still have lighting and stuff over top. Need room for 27 assemblers up here. Should be no problem. Um, this will probably be a nice and extra bit of a spacious floor. Um, so I think this will kind of work for the overall general layout. Things may change slightly along the way as we actually put in the buildings and everything. Um, I haven't put in the flooring yet or anything either. Or not the flooring, the stairs. But you do come down this little hallway here. We'll change it up, put in some more glass and everything. The doors will take you out of there. And you would go up to the stairs here. Logistics floor. Um, constructor floor. Another logistics floor. Assembler floor. And then everything will eventually, like all the finished products, will get shipped over to the truck stations here. Which we will have to set up some sort of feed lines from underneath, I'm going to assume. Probably my best bet is going to be hug them all along the ceiling when it comes down to it so that we can leave space down there for anything else we need, including the um, all the concrete we're going to be building. Because I'm not going to, like, all the concrete, like, all limestone's right here, and then the concrete doesn't have to be moved anywhere else, so I figure I might as well just keep it localized right here. Do it all underneath. We'll create its own separate little, separate little room. And, uh, that'll be, that'll be... It'll be that. So the most of the factory will be over here, and then you'll have the one little tiny concrete room over here. But we'll make sure there's a little there's a way to travel to and from it. Um so that I believe can finish off the general layout of the to-do list for now. Sort of, for the most part anyway. Um and I guess technically I already did the truck station area, so I probably should put that above the general layout on the list, because I kinda needed that to know the general layout. So two birds, one stone. And now we can finish off the episode by doing our little separate concrete room. Um, it's not gonna be anything too crazy. I'm just gonna kind of wall it off where I kind of want to have everything going. Um, and I'm going to kind of make this all into one nice little pad for this to come up onto. I think it's like 10 constructors. No, it's gonna be more than that. I'll have to I'll have to look at my list exactly for how many constructors we need for the concrete here. But yeah, it's it'll be three hundred per minute coming from this machine, one hundred and fifty from this one, and another one hundred and fifty from that one for a total of six hundred. So let's fill in um, just a few more of these platforms down here, and then we'll figure out where. We're going to set up our little separate concrete room. I'll probably stay more to the left side here, leaving any and all excess space for, for moving this stuff around. But yeah, let's let's get this set up. Okay, so my idea for the concrete area is that I will separate it off downstairs. Um, and we need a stairway to get down there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a hole right here. Does that work? Mm, no, maybe I'll make it. I'll put it a little earlier. Let's put the walls back in. Let's put the door to downstairs, right? Let's do it right here. That way I don't have to worry about putting in the, the lights and everything. So doors going through here. And then I'm going to cut in a stairwell that will take us down to... This area down below, I'll have to fill in some more foundations so we have an area to go down to. We'll kind of bring you in next to them. It'll be a kind of a multifunctional um, stairway. You'll be able to get down to um, check in on the miners if you need to, and then you'll also be able to get down to the concrete room. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a hall my hallway section, um, kind of going down along here, and that'll kind of uh, give you a, like a nice little pathway to whatever is going to be the car I haven't really decided I'm just going to kind of section off probably an area in this this general section of the of the factory we need I think it's 14 constructors for concrete so that shouldn't be a problem to fit in this area I'll probably just do a split line of seven and seven and then uh I think I think I have to 
underclock them just the tiniest little bit but it's going to be input 600 limestone and um it'll output 200 concrete per minute so it should work really well there we go i was just waiting for the sun to come up so i just ended up filling in a little bit more of the foundations down here kind of bringing it out more in level or in line with the floor above um, I changed the ground all around the miners to asphalt because I thought it looked kind of cool. And I cut out a spot for where my hallway pieces are going to go. Um, oh, and the only other thing I did was I brought the concrete or the, the other limestone. I made a little ledge for it to bring it over. We'll put like an input wall over here into a little elevator, bring it over. Um, the way I'm going to split it because we need to 600 and obviously I don't have a belt that can move 600. I mean, I can maybe change this in the future. Um, I'm going to have the, the um, this one is, will be 300 and this will be a line feeding seven. And then the other seven will be fed by these two combined into 300. And I think that's how I'm going to split them. So I'll also show you... I ended up cutting a through because my hallway is three wide. I had to kind of get creative and it looked a little weird kind of coming out here to a three wide hole. So I moved the three wide hole back to here. I brought the foundations back all the way to this pillar right here um, because it kind of matches the floor above anyway. And then so the floor there are the stairs will kind of come down here and then you'll be able to go into the hallway here and you come down the hallway. I'll have an exit door right here um or in this general area for going out into this part of the factory and then i will put a exit door probably probably maybe about here i think i did maybe below this a little i cut this a little too far um because i'm going to need most or well i don't need most of this area but i need a good uh good section in this area um and then i'll yeah so i'll have a door over here getting into the concrete area and we'll have a door back here for I mean, this is the miners, and then this is also eventually going to be where you'll see, because you can kind of see the roads above me here. I mean, this is the exit road, but um, along the all along this road here are all my truck stations. So we're going to have some input lines feeding those, but I'm going to try and um, hug them as close to the, or basically just keep them all along the ceiling so they're up and out of the way. So as there's an autosave coming up, I'll just take a quick time to explain what I'm about to do. I'm going to put in a bunch of hallway sections here. I'm going to have to go grab some like crystal oscillators and stuff. Um, and then once I figure out how long I roughly want my hallway section to be, um, that's when I'll figure out where to wall off the concrete portion of the factory. I mean, obviously kind of like right here as well. It will kind of wall off from here. Um, and there'll be some sort of like empty areas of the factory um like void space but i mean we can always use those for like hiding away power lines and and all sorts of anything any extras we need to kind of hide away can go in there there we go just like that i got some hallways so we're gonna come down the stairs from above yep whoa getting that weird wall clipping error again um you kind of come down here you can go left which will take you out into our concrete room or you can turn right will take you over into like the miners and I mean you'll be able to see up above all the stuff kind of going up there I might make like a service stairwell up to there and we'll have like a walkway so you can see what's going on the conveyor belts and I don't know if anyone knows why this is happening it's it's really brutal to look at though um I think maybe that should have been it should maybe go just a tiny bit longer as the end but I mean we'll see um I like the way it looks for now though and uh i do need to add in a couple more like a couple more of the cosmetic items but we can get and do that we'll worry about that in the future for now we can worry about setting up the 14 um constructors or the area for the 14 constructors i'll probably just throw them down anyway um but i think what i want to do is i want to kind of separate off most of i mean this whole like this is going to be a bit of a wasted space here, but because uh, I figured I would kind of have the constructors probably about in this area. I kind of want to wall off a little bit. I'm going to grab some of the walls here and then, I don't know, probably go maybe along. Because mm, I need to bring some of it in. So maybe what I'll do is I'll extend this wall by like two and then we'll come down here. And... 
Maybe to like. What if I what if I put in line here? We'll see how that goes. And move a wall off like that. Would be enough room. I guess I don't need a ton of room. I mean, I suppose I could always do it where like I mean I was gonna build them together, but I could build like the the, the first line of seven over here. And do the other line of seven over here and then just combine them together eventually. Well, let's start with the walls and then we'll go from there. All right, so we're going to extend it by two. We come this way. Yeah, I think what I'll, I'll go from here. We'll bring this over like that. So that's over ten. Another two. Like that. And then this will probably be just some just some void space. Oh yeah, that'll be plenty of room. Plenty of room to fit everything. So yeah, we'll be bringing 150 concrete per minute down here. 150 concrete per minute, we're gonna bring it up. And then I'll have my my 14 constructors going along here. I do need to move this this crate full of uh, smart plating at some point. We'll get we'll get to that. It's gonna take me a while. I'll just do that on my own time. There we go. I moved it. I didn't want to wait, so it just, it took me a couple trips back and forth just moving it back to my little storage area. Um, so now we have all the room to work with that we want to for setting up this concrete line. Like I said, we need uh, fourteen total constructors. And we have ample amount of space to make use of here. I'm trying to decide if I have more room this way or more room this way. There we go. I think that works. So from where I ended up putting that uh, void section, I went in by three. I put in my row of seven. Got a space of two on this side. Space of two on this side. There's four technically back here, but this will be like, um, not like I needed that a little bit extra space on this side. And then the wall will come down from there. So, um, and I mean, worst case scenario, I can always just push this if I want like a little bit of extra room. I always just do this. A little bit smaller void space and a little bit extra room. There we go. Why not? So there. Oh, that actually looks kind of cool because the way it, t it goes into the ground, it looks like it's a looks like it's a circle. It's kind of neat. So that'll be the concrete area. I might. I was gonna say I, I might fill in this gap, but I guess I have just enough space to maybe run some stuff through here since I can run through here. I can probably run some belts through here if I need to. So I think I'll just leave them as is. And that'll be the nice split between all the constructors. So we'll have one line coming down here, another line coming down here. I mean, eventually, I think I can come and turn this into like one big belt down the middle. But I guess I don't really need to worry about that. It wouldn't really make big, uh, much of a difference. But uh, that'll be a nice easy way to feed these is a line of 300 coming down here, a line of 300 coming down here, and then we'll just combine them all together at the very end. And then we'll ship them upstairs and send them off to storage. So that would be separate off our concrete room. We can take that off our to-do list and that'll bring us to the end of today's episode. I'll give you guys just a quick little recap. Anyone who's trying to follow along, hopefully, hopefully it was possible this time. Hopefully I gave some decent uh, numbers to dimensions. Um, worst case scenario, just throw a couple uh, extra foundations on. You need to cut them off, cut them off. Um, so we got our we got our concrete room down here with our 14 constructors. I'll worry about down clocking them in the in the next episode. We got all our miners and everything set up down here. More concrete coming in from that side, and it kind of fit nicely underneath the road. I didn't have to do too many bends or anything. It's gonna come in there. It dropped down here into this room here. This is our giant concrete room. I definitely have a big, I'll have a big void of space here, but that's okay. 
another void of space there. We come into our hallway, the basement hallway. So you can come over here. Here's all our miners. I'll have to make a way up into that section up there. And that'll pretty much that this will give you access to all the iron miners for the build. Then you come back up here. This will be filled in at some point. Might do like a bridge over to that Katerium miner. But uh, this will be the stairwell that you come down right here. I'll have to kind of, we'll have to mess around and make it kind of cool, cool transition through here down to that stairwell. You got this hallway section right here, which is technically the entrance. So this will be, this will be the smelting floor. We'll be working on the next episode, we'll be placing 53 smelt or 54 smelters, something around there. Into our logistics floor. Going back up the stairs, you're going onto our constructor's floor. You know, a little entrance. This will be where you come in. And then the uh, the door to go into the factory from there. You come back up the stairs here. Another logistics floor. Into the assembler's floor. Should be plenty of room for all my assemblers. And then we got the truck station over here with our 12 truck stations. I haven't done any markings or anything yet, obviously, but... I think it's kind of coming together really nicely. So that is definitely going to bring us to the end of today's episode. Hopefully you guys were able to enjoy it. Um, I'll be back again in the next one to put down a whole bunch of smelters and probably get started on some constru more constructors as well. We did take care of uh, like, sorry, I forgot. It's not actually a hundred constructors on this floor because 14 w went to the concrete line. So it's like 80, 84. No, 86. 86 constructors will have to fit on this floor. No problem. They're going to be making so many things. Um, but yeah, thank you guys again for watching this one. And I'll see you in the next one.